climate has changed the way it has been. Usually, a Nobel Prize in Physics is awarded to the physicist who did sort of fundamental contribution uh, to uh, physics. However, mine is, yes, it's based upon uh, physics, uh, but uh, it's applied physics. The whole geophysics are like that. And very few people received Nobel Prize for the kind of work I have done, study of climate change. What I have done is to create mathematical model of climate as a natural extension of numerical daily weather prediction, uh, which now has become indispensable for your daily life. Yes, look, I am very pleased to add that this number because this number is a recognition to all the fields in which I've been working. It's a field of complexity in which I have given a such a many contributions in the past. I've been one of the founders of the field. And also because we get in the Nobel in Italy after a long time. We have to tell people to wake up, to recognize the fact that we are experiencing climate change and it's occurring on a time scale that we're not used to responding to. We're used to responding to things that happen on the one or two or three years time scale. But we have a problem here as acting on the decade of time scales and the, the climate society or the uh, uh, human society has to get used to the fact that we have long-term problems, that we need a long-term uh, climate policy. So I hope that uh, sooner or later people will wake up and realise that they have to do something before it's too late. No, I think obviously uh, you would rather have no global warming and no, no, no Nobel Prize. Of course, the best thing is to have no global warming and Nobel Prize. <laughs>